Get it, girl. Get it. Woo! Oh, my God. Welcome back to Catherine Salome Outdoors. Today we are out here doing a little bit of inshore fishing. It is currently 3.15 in the afternoon. We just got out here. The weather this week is absolutely horrendous. Terrible. Rain for like nine days straight. So this afternoon the rain kind of pushed out. There's still a couple of storms I can see off in the distance. So we're either going to have to run from them or they may end up pushing us in. But we decided to take the opportunity to come out here, see if we can hook up on some fish. So we are using live shrimp on some popping corks. So let's do this thing, y'all. All right, y'all hooked up on my first fish of the day. I honestly was not expecting this spot to be very productive. But check it out. I just caught myself a little red fish. There we go, y'all. First fish of the day. Little rat red. Come on, little guy. There he goes. All right, y'all. I'm hooked up on another one. Ain't that? I don't think he's big. No red? Let's see. Yep. Yeah, second red of the day, y'all. You're small enough we can do a boat flip. Woo! Second rat of the day, y'all. Well, I'm on my third redfish of the day. Another rat red. Why can we not find the big reds? But we are catching the heck out of these little rat reds. Where is their mom? Where is their dad? Their older sister even. Where the heck are they? There we go. Another little rat red. Third one of the day. Now, if only we can get these guys to grow a little bit more. Woo! Cody's hooked up, y'all. His first fish of the day. Oh, do you hear that thunder? There we go. Yeah, nice red. Woo! Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. All right, guys, so here it is, our first keeper red of the day. We're gonna throw him in the cooler and take him home and clean him. Some good eating right here. I love redfish. All right, y'all, so this is our first keeper red. And in Texas, the reds have to be between 20 and 28 inches. And this guy is over 20. He's right at about 21. So he is gonna go in the cooler. Woo! Get Yes, flounder, get the net. Dang! You're two thirds of the way to that inshore slim. Heck yeah, high five. Yes. Yeah. Told you it was a flounder. Getting a quick length on this flounder Cody just caught, and he is over 15, so he is a keeper. It's 14 inches legal limit here in Texas, so another one going in the box. Let's see him, Cody. A nice flounder going in the box. Such good eating. Woo! I just got me a big one, y'all. Look at that. Wow. A stupid little catfish. Dang, blabbit. I hate these things. At least that hook is super easy to get out. Well, we have been out here for about an hour and a half. Have two fish in the cooler. And this storm all right here is starting to move in. I'm not sure if it's gonna come right over the top of us, but if it does, we may have to just go ahead and end the day. But we're crossing our fingers that it kind of stays over on that side of the bay. It has definitely started to rain on us. We're still kind of back and forth deciding if we're gonna go in or not. We're just keeping a close eye on this dark cloud behind us. But I just broke off my treble hook, so I thought I would tell you what we're using today. We are using size eight treble hooks. So these are actually pretty small little treble hooks. And like always, popping cork with like a foot and a half long leader since we're fishing 
pretty shallow up on these rocks because that's where the fish seem to be. If you're like three to four feet off the rocks, I'm just not getting any hits. But, but when I'm throwing right up on the rocks, that's where we're getting all the hits. So just going to do a quick knot. i grab this with my teeth. Tighten it down. And find pliers so you can cut this. And I'm ready to go. I always hook my shrimp through the horn on the top of their head. Just stick it right through. And let's go catch us a fish. Woo! Hooked up, baby! Get it, girl. What's up, my it's rock? A red. It's a red. I just saw him zoom by. Tighten my drive down a cliff. I thought it messed you up. Oh, yeah. Nice fish, babe. Woo! That should be a keeper. It'll be very close. Yeah! Bring it to me. Come on, Mr. Red. I got you. Take it up. There we go, y'all. A nice redfish. He's 22 inches, so perfectly in the slot. He is going to be a keeper. Just look at him, y'all. Heck yeah, what a fun fight he was. Going to taste even better, too. Yeah! Woo! Rip and drag, baby. This, oh my God! Come on, he's on this side. He's on this side. Get it, girl, get it! Woo! Where's it at now? He's right over there. Oh, uh, that's a red. I already saw it. Yeah! Oh my gosh! Not. This is a good redfish. Yeah! Another nice one. Beautiful. Yeah! Oh my gosh. He... Oh, it's a little smaller than I thought it was. Oh, oh my no! god. No! He just spit my hook! No! Did break you off or spit it? He spit my hook. sucks that was a nice red that sucks i just lost a nice little red fish oh that sucks that really really sucks y'all i am so upset about losing that red fish that really sucks at least i saw the fish it wasn't as big as he was fighting like he was i was expecting that fish to be like 30 inches and he was probably right around 20 or so is what he looked like about the same size as what we've been catching so it sucks to have lost a fish but i was looking at the hook i caught him on and the hook had bent so we had just picked up some hooks off amazon and yeah those are getting returned because that fish should not have bent that hook and i think he just bent it slightly and he just was able to pull away that sucks, but I'm about to grab another shrimp. I put on a much stronger hook, going to return those from freaking Amazon, and maybe we'll catch another one. Fish. Cody hooked up, y'all. Really good fish. Oh, I think it's a trout. Like a Get trout. the net. Get the net. If this is a trout, it's a monster. No, it's a sheep's head. Sheep's head. Big sheep's head. Yeah. That's a good freaking sized sheep's head, Cody. Very nice. Sheep's head slayer. So that one's probably about five pounds. There y'all have it. Nice little sheep's head here. We'll also throw this one in the cooler. Um, Kat's mom's always wanting to do fish fries, and she always wants to take our grouper and snapper. So we're catching her some inshore fish to have her fish fry with. There y'all have it. Nice sheep's head. Well, y'all, with that, I think we are going to call it a day. It is now 6.30. We've been out here a little over three hours. Somehow dodged all of the big rainstorms, and now it is an absolutely beautiful evening out here. 
I still think it's supposed to rain the rest of the week. I'm not sure how much fishing we're going to get to keep doing, but what a great afternoon this turned out to be. We got some redfish, we got a sheep's head and a flounder in the cooler. All great eating fish and I know my mom is going to love those because she is saving up some fish for us to have a fish fry here soon. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's fishing vlog. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up or a like if you're on Facebook. And I will see y'all again real soon with another one. Bye y'all.